All right, this run shows off a level three stoat cell. So I skipped the beginning because I lost the recording, but this is pretty similar to like a level three spider pill or a level three eagle pill. Uh, but you actually get to select what tier you want to do this on. So cell, you summon a level one as a one one and uh, on your current tier. So if you wait until tier six, you can sell it, get a free tier six. That's a one one. Now the problem is that it's going to be stuck as a one one because when you have a level three, you can't buy another thing onto it to get its like base stats back. So it's a little bit of a disadvantage there. Probably wouldn't recommend actually going for the strat if you're trying to win. I do think maybe a level two stoats cell is actually going to be really good though. And uh, of course you're going to get a level up from that as well. So we'll see. I mean, it's uh, just based off the other packs, like getting a level two spider pill. The gamble is usually worth it. It's very like risk reward, but most of the things in pack one or the standard pack, turtle pack, whatever you want to call it, uh, are pretty good at level two. And then you can kind of just like build your team around that. So as you can see, got very lucky early on, got a lot of the stoats and um, took a Royal Flycatcher. So I initially thought Royal Flycatcher was going to be really good because there's a lot of summons and it will counter a lot of those summons. But unfortunately, a lot of the synergies, like even if you kill the summons, it doesn't even matter that much because like they still get summoned. So if they have a Grizzly or a Poison Dart Frog, its ability is still going to go off. And all that happens is you get some slight buffs on the Flycatcher and you take away like a little bit of damage on their team. But as long as their abilities go off, I've found that I still lose because like the damage just is too much and it's uh, tricky to get like a ton of scaling to be able to survive all those strats. That being said though, I mean, it's still not a bad tier three, I think. It at least counters a little bit of what's going on and got it to level two. So I do want to actually wait all the way until turn 11, which means I just have this random 7-7 seven, seven on board the entire time. Uh, have this cuttlefish, so when that faints, it just gives squid to the enemy that uh, is on the opponent's team, which, or not squid, ink. Did I say that right? Which is like reverse weakness. They deal three less damage, which is pretty nice. There's a random sea urchin. Uh, I feel like one thing that I've actually been doing recently is going for a sea urchin plus egg in the second spot, because the sea urchin pretty much reduces their health by three, and it goes down to one, and so then the egg will deal two damage and just instant kill the next thing. And that seems to be a pretty good strat to just win some of the early rounds, so could recommend going for that. Uh, also, who I just fought in that last arena, Jordis, or Jordis, Jordace? Uh, okay, actually, I probably should know their name, but they're a streamer, recognize that. Got the classic Poison Dart Frog Slug. Just, I mean, it's hard to resist. It's 12 damage. How could you not take that? Like, on tier four... This is more damage than Croc. I mean, it's way more damage than like the old Dolphin, all of that. Plus, its potential just is really high to get even more damage going. If you get like an Onion, which is on tier 5, of course, or you get, I don't know, White Whale, or uh, I, uh, I don't know, just a uh, Dorant, I guess, also synergizes pretty well with Poison Dart Frog. Oh, and um, the Emu, actually. You can also go with that for more triggers on the Poison Dart Frog. There's just a lot of ways to get even more triggers. Of course, could add a Flea as well to get that weakness involved. Kind of taking my time here. Just try not to lose. Uh, Weasel feels like it's pretty nice. It's actually pretty similar to the old Swan. So Swan, way back in the day, used to be a 3-4 at Tier 2. And now the Weasel is pretty similar to that. You can see the Flycatcher actually did something this turn. Still lost, though. And, uh, yeah, but it's a tier three, of course. And you have to put it more towards the front so you actually get the gold for next turn. But because it's also a faint ability, one weird thing you could do is you could put chocolate cake on it if you want to. Because then you'll get the extra gold next turn and it'll also just faint. So, I mean, it's not really worth it, I feel like. What are you really getting out of it? You're spending three gold to get, like, a couple extra stats in battle and then getting one gold next turn. So it's kind of like a worse avocado, but... I mean, I don't know, it's an interesting strat. So there's the early Grizzly, love to see that. Um, not the strongest summon team right now, so it is Friends Summoned, right? Which is kind of strange, because I don't actually know exactly how it works. I was watching a bit of Scooty, and it seems like it's a bit scuffed how it actually works. But as long as it summons, as you can see, we get the bear triggers. And um, that's pretty nice, because even if it dies, like it's hard to counter this build. Really? The only thing that has like successfully countered this in pack four is Cobra. Cobra is a very important pet, I feel like, in order to win in the late game. 
if you don't have that, then like you could run into one of these teams and just easily lose. Or uh, I guess another way to win is just get like 50-50s with like Catfish and Blue Ringed Octo or whatever it's called. But yeah, I mean, that's... And the problem is you have to scale the Cobra, which is also very tricky to do. But that, that counters this team pretty hard here. Um, get that Flycatcher doing great things here. And just so many triggers, so much damage. Get another trigger here from the Poison Dart Frog. But still going to be a loss. It doesn't really matter because as long as I only lose by one, it's like you don't even lose at all. I mean, it's such a minimal loss that you don't feel like you lose that many hearts and it's kind of inconsequential if you ask me so there's the level three stoat cell for a level three grizzly bear also just immediately gives you the achievement which is kind of nice now i have double grizzly bear so just insane damage 18 damage twice 36 damage for every two uh, friends summoned that can get out of control really quick plus i can level up the other grizzly bear and uh things will just kind of go from there i guess uh, i just need more summons which means looking for white whale or slug, I guess. Uh, it is very susceptible to getting sniped. I guess if they have any cobra, it's going to die. Or even like a tomato, I guess. That is maybe one breakpoint you want to keep in mind, is trying to get above 10 HP so you don't die to a random tomato snipe. Because I imagine you'll probably start to see a lot more of those in the later rounds of arena. Um, do I even need the poison dart frog, actually? At this point, like it actually could just be sold. I guess I just end up going for a level 3, but the Grizzly Bear damage is going to far outweigh the uh, Poison Dart Frog damage, right? Because Poison Dart Frog at level 3 is going to deal 12 damage, but that's uh, 36 damage from the Grizzly Bear. So just getting more summons would probably be better, but oh my god. Just the absolute like destruction from the Grizzly Bear is crazy. <laughs> Wiped out their entire team there. So dealing 24 and then 36 just how do you stop that like i mean there's not much to do really and it deals it multiple times so like even if you have a potato or something or a uh, pita bread to stop one hit you're gonna have to have some serious stats in order to be able to survive just randomly bought a lettuce there uh that's only two two that's like buying a salad probably not worth it at this point should really look for like eggplant or i mean i guess just pretzel would be the best food to buy here try to get out of like the sniping range i guess like six range or six attack for the other grizzlies because at this point i mean the flycatcher is doing amazing look at that so many snipes that was beautiful to see but it's a bit of a gamble with like a grizzly bear versus grizzly bear team because it's just whoever snipes the other person's grizzly bear first wins right um but found the white whale in the slug so gonna get quite a few extra summons from that which is nice go ahead and feed it tomato that's uh, pretty good probably want to feed it like tomato or uh chocolates or i guess like eggplant or pretzel or something like that um there's another grizzly bear yeah so i could sell the poison dart frog for another slug here but i don't think i'm actually gonna do that just gonna try to go for double level three bear because that would be insane like how do you stop that there's really not that much you have to kill oh it's just so good every time just seeing it completely wipe out people's teams but i imagine that grizzly bear is gonna get nerfed do I, like, I mean, if people complain about Vulture in the past, it would make a lot of sense that, like, people are going to complain about Grizzly Bear. It is hard to stop in Pack 4 again. Like, there, there's, like, one counter, and that's pretty much Cobra. Even if you have, like, a 50-50 team with no ability, I don't know. Would it be able to survive this? How many triggers am I actually getting off of this? Uh, so you get two summons from Slug, and then I guess you only get two, or you get three from White Whale. Is that right? So I guess you only get two triggers. It feels like it hasn't... Wait, so there's one, there's two, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's only two right now. And then, okay, that onion is very nice. And then I get... Uh, I get... Yeah, so is it only two triggers? It feels like it's doing so much damage that like even two triggers at this point is so much. Uh, pretzel. I should probably buy that pretzel, to be honest. That's a, This is a bit greedy just putting tomatoes on everything going full snipers because i should realize like what do i lose to and that's another grizzly bear team or cobra team so i kind of need protection and stats over going for more tomatoes because like i mean it's highly unlikely that they're going to even reach that point level three wolf poison dart frog with the onion but snipe that guy not a problem and just oh, it's so good so much damage and two more turns left 
There's double level 3 Grizzly Bear. My, 72 damage every trigger. So I'm dealing 144 damage, assuming uh, nothing dies on my team. And, I mean, there's not even that much to do at this point. I should just be buying, like, eggplants and pretzels. I didn't even bother leveling up the slug, because, like, what does that really do? Not much. As you can see, the tomato did snipe my grizzly bear, so that could definitely be a problem. Uh, they have a flying fish German shepherd combo. That's very strong, but unfortunately, it just dies to grizzly bear. Like, grizzly bear is the counter to other summon teams. Because, like, summon teams can just straight beat out 50-50 teams, but this will beat out those summon teams, and then this loses to sniping teams from, like, Cobra. So it kind of got, like, the rock, paper, scissors going on, which I think is usually a pretty interesting thing. It does make it, like, a lot harder to win in Arena, but um, I think for the meta, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, not a ton to do here. I got a 3-3 Grizzly Bear. <laughs> Amazing. I pretzel is would be 4-4 four, four, I think so that would be pretty nice kills the slug but that doesn't really matter that's actually pretty good for us they have a grizzly bear but I snipe everything but the grizzly bear that could actually be very costly here oh my god and I do lose that round so unlucky we had four snipes and I killed everything but the grizzly see that's what I'm talking about just up to RNG this kind of reminds me of like leopard teams if you have two leopard teams uh I mean, actually, no, that's not even a problem either, because, like, that activates its ability no matter what, because it's start a battle, but here it's just, it's just, like, I don't know, yeah, whoever kills the other person's grizzly first wins, which is not a very healthy meta, I would say. That's very annoying, because, like, that much RNG is just not that fun. Level 3 Cobra, though, so much damage, 15 damage, and I did not kill it there in one hit. I need this extra trigger right now. Not gonna get it. So the double Grizzly doesn't even win, and I lose all three hearts. I mean, I only had two left, but I would have lost three. So that really sucks. Uh, running into the one counter, but I guess it's more likely to happen as the game goes on. Still a really fun run, and yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.